proper physical connection of an RS-45 network is crucial, but the foundation is laid by choosing the correct cable type. The specifications shown are critical design factors to look for when selecting the RS-45 compliant cable. The following is a recommended approach to physical connection and comments on why these techniques are used. Begin by removing 2.5 inches of the outer jacket. Push the braided jacket down over the outer jacket. Push the braid back up from the bottom. Pinch to create a disc-like fold. Trim this fold near the outer jacket, leaving no stray strands. Remove the separated shield. Next, unfold the foil shield, exposing the two conductor pairs, the drain line, and the ripcord if present. Fold back the drain line, then twist the foil shield several times and trim off near the outer jacket. Find the rip cord, remove it close to the outer jacket as well. Take the drain line and twist the multiple strands together all the way to the end. Separate the two data line pairs and then untwist the pairs. Select one pair as the data pair and from the remaining pair, select a line to serve as signal ground. Keep these colors consistent throughout the system. Strip each line about one quarter inch. To avoid miswires, maintaining standard of colors and connection points. It is recommended that lines coming from upstream be terminated at the inner data terminals. The downstream lines should be terminated at the outer terminals. Next, terminate both the incoming and outgoing signal ground lines to the terminal block ground location. Now join the two shield drain lines and crimp together. These are not terminated at the terminal block. Those shields should free float. The final con device connection should only use the incoming data terminals. The shield drain should be trimmed to avoid any shorts. Termination resistors are not generally required unless they are specified by the PAX partner.